Good morning, you guys, and welcome to day. What day is it today? Excuse me while I check my phone. Day 13 of Vlogmas. Um, I just have, I've just fed the kids, um, and they're currently eating right now, and I'm getting a video ready um, to put up on YouTube, which is gonna go live at 8 a.m. So that's gonna be a thrifting video, and then I have a Vlogmas episode tonight. So I'm super excited about those two videos going up. Um, today is gonna be a pretty crazy day, I think. Um, before it gets like warmer outside while it's still a little cold, I'm gonna continue taking photos right now for bags. And then I'm gonna move that tree outside like I told you guys I wanted to do. So that's gonna be pretty fun. And yeah, so that's gonna be the plan for right now. So I'm gonna go back to work. Um, I still have a, quite a number of bags here. So don't forget to check out my shop at itshadrian.com and see what I have for sale. I have some pretty good bags and I'm listing uh, I'm, I'm lowering a lot of prices as well, and I'm trying to like do like a, probably a closet clear out because I have so many bags and I just want to make more space for new like new product. So don't hesitate to send me a message if you um, want to like bundle anything or yeah. So I'll see you guys later. <laughs> so I'm super excited because mom is gonna make. Lugo. If you're Filipino, you guys know what that is, but if you're not, it's kind of like a porridge with chicken. And mom is gonna use this black sweet rice to make it. And then I'm really, really excited because she's never used it before and she's always wanted to. And today we're gonna try it. Do you want to mix half white rice and half black? Oh. It's all black? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Excited for this. <laughs> so right now I'm currently watering my plants right here i have to water them pretty much every day because they love water and it's been so windy all the glitter pretty much has gone off on the trees and it's actually starting to smell like smoke again today which is not good that one actually has a lot more glitter than this one this one seems to have like no more left pretty much that one still has a lot on the top hey guys okay so i'm actually outside right now and I'm prepping the space. I I'm definitely think I'm putting the tree right there in that area because that's actually where the power plug is. And it's... Yeah, I, that's, that's the power plug and there's another power plug up there. So there's kind of only two spots to put it. But we're going to make it work. And it's going to be fabulous. And I'm also... I also think I'm going to put the tree on rollers. It's like roll it around the backyard if I want to put it somewhere else so um we're gonna see how that turns out but right now I'm actually I actually put the plant on here I can water it and then the um, water can seep out easily and then I can put it back in the container which is right there and I love the pergola so much you guys it's so pretty my only thing is that I, I <laughs> <laughs> the um like the string of lights are on like the wrong side of the of the beam I guess and see how like it looks like when you go look at it this way and you don't see the black lines of the thing and then when you're in this side like I wanted them to be on the other side so that when you're inside the house it's just like all white and you don't see the break with the lights but I mean it's totally fine and I don't think we should take them out anymore because they already have screws and s like they're like screwed inside so I don't know how that's gonna work out and plus it's gonna be like a lot of work for them so I feel bad all right you guys so I kind of got the space ready uh, I'm gonna try it out in a couple different spots I kind of want to put it in the middle right there and in the corner right there and Maybe even all the way back there in the back. Um, but I'm prepping the tree. I took off the ornaments. I'm going to take off the flowers, I think. Or keep as many of them as I can. And then I'm just going to take it off piece by piece. Then we're going to put it out there on the rollers. Which are over there by the TV. So I'm <laughs> taking down the tree piece by piece. Mom's holding this one for me. So I don't <laughs> have to redo the plants. Now I just need to get this one outside. It's out! Now I just have to get this piece and the other piece on. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. Are you guys ready to see this <laughs> epic tree? Ta-da! 
I'm so obsessed. I think I'm not gonna put the little fur thing on the bottom because I feel like it matches too much with the actual ground and you can't really see it, so I'm just gonna leave the white one. But someone's really happy and that person is me. <laughs> all right, it's time to take a break and time to eat some it's soup. Yummy. It's like all black though, or like it's purpley. Really so I can't wait to try it. Okay, so it kind of looks like black beans. <laughs> <laughs> but there's black, this grays, and then the chicken, and the rice, and everything like black. But it's okay. It looks delicious anyway. This is my current aesthetic. All right, you guys. The pool guy actually just left, and I want to see how clean the pool is. <gasps> oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's back to its beauteous ways. So I'm very happy about that. <laughs> okay, so I have to show you guys a little secret about my Christmas tree <laughs> it's like bald on the back so like I feel like I'm gonna just move everything kind of like to the side so you can't see it from over here so from the back it looks like oh it's just like one of those Christmas trees that only have lights on it and then from the front it's like damn look at all these beautiful flowers so they think that's how I'm gonna play the tree right now <laughs> but yeah I just definitely need to like move them all the way down over there but look how pretty the tree looks I'm so happy and look how fantastic this throw looks like okay for like a seven dollar throw like this throw is literally amazing I'm actually gonna put it over here but it looks so good you guys I'm so excited you guys can find like the best things at the Goodwill you know and this is just like a nice faux fur throw and it's so fabulous I'm just gonna throw it like haphazardly right here and it's gonna look amazing Ugh, I love it all right you guys I'm super excited because my mom's plant just came she wanted this what is it called a calf or a lime or something calf lime, yeah. lime. Oh and it came in this giant box <laughs> so now I'm gonna open it First of all, this company that sold, like, like that sent this, did a really good job packaging it. Really? Yeah. They're, like, very professional. Okay, you guys, I managed to open it, and they do, like, a really amazing job. I'm getting scratched by the <laughs> staple. Look at that. That is really cool. Look at mom. It's like packaged beautifully. I know. So here it is. Mom's sad because there's no fruit on it. But yeah. you use the leaves for cooking. But here, like the plant came so beautifully. And I'm gonna go water it right now. All right, you guys. I just transferred him over here, watered him up, and now he's good to go. I'm just gonna let the water out and I'm gonna find like a place to put them. Also I'm still obsessing over my tree. Beautiful. I also put my little reindeer right here. I need to get this area ready before Kate comes home from school so the kids can take photos. But I just need to finish packaging stuff up first and head over to the post office. My mom made some delicious looking food inside of here. Cannot wait to eat it later. All right, you guys, I'm about to go to the post office, so let's go. Then I think we might go to the Goodwill just really quick because it's just, like, right there, but let's head out. All right, you guys, I got everything inside the car. Now we're heading out. Almost forgot my sunglasses, but I came back to get them. And, yeah, so let's go to the post office, Goodwill, and then back home. Okay, went to the post office. Now we're at the Goodwill, so let's go inside. Fake Birkin, $6.99. Oh, you guys, I just found this Dunian Burke. It's actually really nice, but it's a little pricey because it's $30 and made in China. Yeah, so it's cute, but it's really expensive, especially for the, like, the older style that it is. So we're going to pass on that one. Here's a fake Prada. This one's for $20. Not the worst, but yeah. What is this? Vivis. There's this pretty cute Francisco Biasia bag. I like the tassels on the side. It's a huge stain on the back, though. This is $5.99. I think I'm gonna have to pass because of that huge stain. Ooh, 
that's pretty cool. Alright you guys, I just found a Mark Jacobs bag. The hardware is like not there, but you can't even tell. This is only $7.99. It's pretty cute you guys. This could be like a fun project bag, but it is missing this hardware right here. But again, like honestly, you can't even tell. Like I didn't even know until I tried it out. It's pretty cheap, so I think I'm just gonna get it. $7.99 is not bad for a Marc Jacobs. Is it a Mark by Mark? Yeah, it's a Mark by Mark. But it's cute still, but it's definitely like an older style. I'm looking through the decor. Seeing what they have here. A lot of Halloween stuff. For sure. This glass thing is pretty cool. $6.99. No faces. I'm looking through the dinnerware, not really spotting anything. I haven't found any like Le Creuset or anything here recently, not even Pampered Chef. But at least I have this Mark by Mark Jacobs bag. Oh look, I have like this Nike bag, but I think it's fake. Anyway, it's peeling. What is this? This feels like pleather, very pleathery. They have a wreath, very festive. Original Penguin by Munsingwar. Oh. Penguin bag. They have a Minion bag. I think these are those like squid or something from Super Mario Brothers. There's Sesame Street. I always go through here because sometimes they have like pretty good stuff and it's just like hidden away. Look at these lions. <laughs> you guys, I just found this Burberry hat. <laughs> Burberry lended me in Romania for $14.99. Looks to be in pretty good condition. I don't think I could wear this kind of hat because it looks tiny, but I'm sure someone would like it. Okay guys, I just left. I had to get the Marc Jacobs, but the Marc by Marc. And this Burberry hat, which I'm pretty sure is also authentic. So get it and got two awesome pieces under $30. I think the price was $22.89, 98, $22.98. Okay guys, so I've been working on the outside here. I just got um, back home just a few bits ago. Oops. And I'm trying to like, set up this area and make it look like nice and homey and everything um so i'm hoping it looks good <laughs> just trying to figure out what pillows i want to use and everything and then we're gonna get this show on the road all right you guys there it is what do you guys think i'm just gonna grab the kids and do this shoot before it gets too dark okay you guys so this Oh, I'm like really happy right now. <laughs> I'm loving everything. So here's the space. Um, the Christmas tree, obviously, is the one from inside. It's from Pottery Barn. All of those are thrifted botanicals. The butterflies I've had for years um, from Pottery Barn also. Um, all this furniture I got from the Pottery Barn outlet, but it is actually from Williams Sonoma Home, the outdoor collection. I think it's called the Pescadero. Um, this vase is from Pottery Barn, but I thrifted it from the Goodwill, um, the reindeer, and those botanicals are actually from Pottery Barn, and then the pillows are a mixture of Pottery Barn, Restoration Hardware, and the Goodwill, and th this, um, this, 
pelt and then that white pelt right there are from East Perry. She is amazing. Her pelts are gorgeous and to die for. And if you use the code Hadrian, H-A-D-R-I-A-N, on her site, you get 15% off your entire purchase. And that um, fur throw right there I got from the Goodwill as well. And yeah, and those are live orchids. Had those for quite some time. I think I got them from Costco with mom. So, so this is the space I'm waiting for. Eliza's the only one that's gonna be doing a photo shoot. The other two kids are doing homework. I'll try and do photos of them again later. Otherwise, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to do um, all of their photos together. But this is how it looks. I'm so happy, you guys. It looks so good. And I cannot wait to take pictures of Eliza. The next spot I'm actually gonna put the tree is gonna be back here. I'm gonna put it right behind, or like right over there in that corner. And then like the photo shoot will be like right here with the tree behind. And then I'm gonna change all these pillows out maybe tonight or tomorrow and yeah so oh, I just love how you can see the tree from inside it's so festive it's so whimsical the lights are my life I'm just so happy oh it's so gorgeous sorry you guys I'm just like obsessing <laughs> hello baby come on sit down no no duck. what duck okay we're trying to coach these children all of them want chocolate and they want to play and one of them hot wants what? Hot a hot chocolate. Okay, after the photo shoot, you guys can have a hot chocolate, but you have to behave. <laughs> now this is <laughs> the aftermath. Everyone gets a chocolate. Yay! Can I have hot chocolate? Um, maybe later after you finish your homework. Homework first, then think about all the other All right, we're gonna move the tree to another location, but that'll be later. <laughs> but this is literally like what everything looks like right now. It's such a mess. <laughs> but I think we got it. I think we got the shot, so I'm very excited. I wanted to show you guys the lights. I figured out how to use the remote and change all the colors and stuff. So, these are the lights. They're super festive. And then you can just make them like blue, green, then red, and then just plain. And then you can just make them cycle. Kate, look at this. What do you think? Cool. Ooh. Zach, look at the lights. Why are you crying? Because you got in trouble? Mm -hmm. Look at the lights. Does that make you feel better? Eliza wanted to sit out here while he enjoyed his iPad and the lights. He's so festive. Look at you, baby. You're with the lights. Wow. Now Grandma and Eliza are gonna hang Grandma out going here. To sit and <laughs> relax before I eat. <gasps> Alright guys, so I'm back in my room and I just finished eating dinner and helped uh, Zach do his homework and yeah, so it's been a really long day. Those kids are a handful when we're trying to do photos with them, but it was so much fun. Um, tomorrow, we're going to do another photo shoot. The kids get out of school early. They get out, um, both of them get out around noon, I think. They get out at the same time, so yeah, tomorrow's their early day, so we're going to be able to start early and tomorrow's gonna be a nice warm sunny day so I'm hoping we can get some good photos um, I do want to take some by the pool and then probably some in front of the house and it'll be fun so don't forget to stay tuned to tomorrow's vlogmas episode to see that I'm gonna try and film more um, maybe I'll set up the tripod or something I don't know it was so hilarious though today I wish I had like just the camera rolling because those kids are crazy I mean, I don't know how we wrangled them together. I don't even know how it happened. Um, I'm gonna have to see if I got some clear shots um, on my camera because on my phone I tried to take some photos and it was a hot mess and they like almost, they were all blurry, but like they're either blurry or they're looking crazy or something. But I'm super excited to, sh um, to show you guys what I got at the Goodwill. I know I showed you guys really quick, but I'll show you guys a closer look right now. So here is the first thing. This Burberry hat is so cute. And I guess it, like, it was a little pricey at $14.99. But I have a feeling that it may actually be authentic. And it's like 
in really good condition regardless and yeah it's a really cute hat so anyone wants a Burberry hat I have one <laughs> But yeah, so super cute hat. Excited about that. And then this gorgeous Mark by Mark Jacobs bag. Now this buckle seems to be missing. Like the little um thing right there. But honestly, when it's in it, like you can't really tell like that it's missing anything at all. So I think it's totally fine. And uh, taking a look at the inside, like you can see that it like looks like it's pretty good hardware. So pretty nice and the rest of the bag like I mean I feel like it's still kind of cool like it has like that kind of age kind of worn in look which I do like and appreciate so I feel like this bag can either be kept like this or can kind of be like restored a little bit and like conditioned and cleaned and or like re-dyed another color and since it is a lighter color you can go with um, a lot of different tones of brown and then there's always black. Um, I don't think I ever really talked about, I don't know if I really talked about it in any of my um, handbag rehab videos, that if you're going to re-dye a bag, you always have to dye it either the same color or darker than what it is or else it's not going to dye properly. Um, but if you're going to repaint it using like an acrylic paint or something that's topical, you can pretty much paint it any color. So when you go to say, to say uh, like a shoe repair, a handbag repair, when they tell you they can re-dye something any color, they really mean that they're going to be painting it. They're going to be using some sort of acrylic paint. It's going to be topical. They're probably going to be using um, a, like a paint gun on it. Like a, yeah, like an aerosol kind of paint thing um I actually really want to get one of those and try it out but if you go to someone really good they do they'll do a really good job um and sometimes what I have heard from a lot of people that message me and they had like they say they had a bag redyed or something or they bought got one that was redyed and the color is coming off that's because they used an acrylic paint and they probably didn't do a good job or they didn't use a good quality acrylic paint so my favorite is always Angelus. I always have that link down below if you guys are ever interested in purchasing an acrylic paint. Angelus is pretty much my favorite. It's the, it has a million different uses and the color is always vibrant and it's always, um, the, the paint itself is very like, um, I want to see, it's like elastic, it's very like movable, bendable, so it's not like hard, so it's perfect for like leather and fabrics and yeah, so. That concludes today's video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Hope you guys had fun hanging out with me today. Vlogmas, like December is just like ending up being really crazy. I feel like December just started yesterday and it's already like, I don't even know what day is it, the 13th? Something like that? 14th? Yeah, I think it's the 13th. So it's already the 13th. Tomorrow's the 14th. It's Thursday. Dad actually comes home tomorrow. We're going to pick him up tomorrow night from the airport. So we're all very excited about that. And yeah, so... Thank you guys again for hanging out with me. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, it really helps if you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Let's go for like 150. I feel like I've never reached that many thumbs up or likes or whatever before. So that would be really awesome to achieve. And don't forget to subscribe so you'll be updated every time I post a new video. And I do post videos every during, every during day. Every single day and during Vlogmas, I will post sometimes two videos a day. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I love you guys immensely. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye! Are you guys ready to go to school? Yes. Are you ready to make good choices? Yes. Are you going to get... I got orange. Hey, you're, you're going to get orange? Or are you going to be a leader today? A leader. Yeah. How about you, Zach? Get green. You're going to get dark green? Zach. Hey, your seatbelt, buddy. It's super easy to get dark green for Zach. Is it? Yes. Because you Your watch is falling off. Your strap is falling off. Fix it. Yeah, see? It's...